Aaron, what did you think about the way the offense came out tonight? Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, we, I, I thought last time out against Walker, you know, we had, we had a lot of good at bats and, and put a lot of pressure on them, but we couldn't break through on them. Tonight we were able to, to do that and just a lot of guys having a lot of good at bats. Um, again, up and down, you know, obviously Luke, big homer, and then and then Hicks to knock him out with the back-to-back. You know, Gio with a lot of good at bats. Frazier, I mean, it was up and down tonight. It was good to see. Gio Urshela seemed like he didn't skip a beat from the way he was swinging before he went on the IL. Just how difficult is that to do when you haven't been in a game in, in what, 11 days? Yeah, I mean, and spraying it all over the ballpark, hitting all different kinds of pitches. The one time they got him out was a great play by Gritchick in in the gap. So, and then doing what he does in the field. So um, it was really good to see him return like that and move around like he did and and to be able to get him out of there a little bit early. Um, you know, I thought it was, it was good for him too. Another quality start for Davey Garcia. What stood out to you about the way he threw the ball? Just strike one, dictating the count. You know, probably wasn't as, as dominant as he was uh, in Buffalo against them, but – that's obviously a very tough n- lineup to navigate. You know, a lot of long innings, you know, you know, the game a, a little bit out of hand there early, and, and he was able to just kind of k- keep his focus, continue to make pitches, um, and then, you know, kind of finish with a flourish too. You know, he, he like he's out there just competing really well and having fun at his craft there. You see him finish it off there in the seventh. So another strong outing. Ron Blum, go ahead and unmute. As you look at where everyone is now compared to a week ago, is there a key or two that started the turnaround in your mind? I think it's, I think it's our starting pitching. You know, I go back to the the game we, the second game that we lost, when Jay Happ pitch, pitched really well, um, and since then. You know, everyone that's taken their turn has gone out and really set the tone from the from a starting rotation standpoint. You know, Monty got back on track. A couple good ones from Davey. Obviously, Garrett with a dominant outing. Moss has been good. So, it's it's really started with our starting pitching going out and 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 giving us really strong starts. And you know, a handful of those days, the offense has really stepped up. But I think it's it's all started with the starting pitchers. Thank you. Uh, Bruce Beck, go ahead. Aaron, was there ever a point after you had lost those five games in a row where you lost confidence in this team or didn't believe that this club would find a way to start uh, bouncing back? No, no, never. Um, You know, obviously you're frustrated. You know, it makes for some some sleepless nights. and um, But no, never – never losing belief in these guys and and now as we get more and more guys back and healthy and in the mix um you know i know we're capable of amazing things and um you know hopefully we're going to find that out john schwartz please unmute I know it's obviously not a surprise at this point when it's happening but the at-bats that luke is having you can just i mean sure the power he's showing but also just the quality of the bat in general yeah he's 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 really becoming a great hitter in this league. I mean, and it's and it's consistent with what we've seen since we got him in 18. Um, he's been an impact player, period. Um, just controls the zone, knows how to go up and, and hunt a pitch. Um, obviously, the big power, the ability to hit the ball out to out all fields really helps him. But, um, you know, I feel like he's improving his contact rate. You know, he's he strikes that balance between being uber aggressive, which you want to be. You know, he, he he's up there looking to do damage early in the count, but he has the ability to control the zone along with it. Neftali Medina, go ahead and unmute. Adam, uh, look, boy, what difference you see to him this year? And when all the guys down, it's looking like he's being cut on the team. What about you seeing him different this year and what you have to say about tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think kind of what I just hit on. I mean, he's – I don't see a ton different, frankly. Um, He's healthy, 
and he wasn't real healthy in the second half of last season. And really the only time he's had a little dip in his performance was, you know, that couple months at the back end of last season when, you know, he was kind of going through the sports hernia and grinding through that. You know, he's had the surgery. He's obviously got himself in tremendous shape, having lost a little bit of weight into summer camp. And um, But I think it's very consistent with what we've seen since we got him in 2018. Max Goodman, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Aaron, what did you think of uh, Stanton's at-bats tonight? I thought they were good. A lot of deep counts, obviously smoked the ball, worked the walk. Uh, you know, thought he may have worked the walk on one of his strikeouts too. Um, but I thought, he, I thought he looked good and comfortable. Obviously got a lot of different looks from different pitchers. Um, so I, I thought it was a quality for at-bats, even though he didn't have much to show for. And the DJ went deep on a pitch. I think it was 48 miles an hour. Yeah. When was the last time you've seen? It kind of reminded me of your your walk off <laughs> of, uh, Wakefield. Yeah, I mean that just kind of lets the legend of of the machine to kind of grow a little bit. You know, <laughs> Gary's on the bench. You know, is 98, 48, 78 slider, fastball, doesn't matter. So uh, he's just a, a special hitter.